Nigerians are moving to Europe for greener pastures and Buhari is inviting Parisians to Nigeria. Sani, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. It was reported yesterday that President Buhari said that Nigeria is open to French citizens who seek for greener pastures. The statement that came from President Mohamed Buhari caused several Nigerians to react differently. Based on that note, the former senator that represented the good people of Kaduna Central Sanitary Zone, Senator Sheh Hussani, decided to speak. While reacting, the former lawmaker made it known that Nigerians are moving to Europe for greener pastures, and our president, Mohamed Buhari, is telling Parisians to come to Nigeria for greener pastures. This is really a funny one indeed. I think that the Nigerian government should first of all help Nigerians first before talking about inviting foreigners into the country. Most Nigerians have left the country because the situation of things in the country, because of the situations of things in the country, and President Buhari is inviting foreigners. If things are working perfectly well, I do not think that there will be any need to invite foreigners because they will come without being invited. Well, um, well, yes, Mr. Sani, he has really spoken well on this one. The truth is, it is really laughable. I'm sorry, but it is. You are inviting people to come when people in your country are scampering for greener pastures and safety. Sincerely, people traveling out now, they, they foresee <laughs> that um, this place is no longer safe. The insecurity is spreading. Then secondly, they are traveling out for greener pastures. People need things to do. Because, and we, we, we do blame them. Of course, you would not. With every passing day, everything, you know, Nigerians seem to do, the government will close this particular door of income for them. They are going to grumble for some time, and they know that grumbling will not solve anything. Without the help of the government, they will find another door. And yet again, just when, you know, they are relaxing themselves and, okay, this one is working, all of a sudden, you know, this one is closed. Do you know how many people, their businesses were disrupted with the ban of Twitter? Do you know how many people, now this ban on cryptocurrency trading is going to affect? <laughs> I do not know, understand, but these people keep helping themselves. But the government keeps like, it's, they are out there to suck these people dry. This idea will bring out this particular idea, you know, the government comes and you bring out another one, the government comes, even in a typical ordinary business, a small business, if you know the amount of tax that is being levied on this business, is you start asking yourself what really is going on. And you know, the problem is not even with the tax, it's they're taking tax and they're not doing nothing, it's like you're giving them free money. That is why most of them go into government uh, um, positions and, you know, because they believe they are there to be served by these people. They believe they came to receive kingly treatment, you know. That is why they sit down or they stay in their high houses and they make policies that is going to only extract and extort the, the people. I am sorry, I'm very, very blunt today. I am going to be very blunt. That is what they do. If you're supporting the government... If this particular, you know, this extortion that this government is doing that is making people to leave, the people are not going to complain if things are derailing a little. If tax are being paid, if tax now that are collected from these small businesses that Nigerians have, you know, after toiling for years, you start small, nobody is saying you, you're pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing, nobody is saying you, then immediately, you know, you manage to register your business just for the sake that people are going to trust you. Sincerely, if business can exist without, you know, being registered, what's there? Will you, you, the, people will come and say, oh, your business, you know, you're not paying, you're evading tax. This tax you're collecting, sir. Please, sir. How do you used to help my life, sir? Do you know how many people die because of bad roots? Do you know how many places accidents has occurred because of a bad road, because of pothole? Do you know how many death traps on the road hiding behind bad roads? Now that is one. The electricity, many people used to run their businesses. Eventually, no business on planet Earth that does not need electricity. I do not think I do not I do not think there is even your buying and selling. Even your buying and selling now you're going to need electricity. 
this government, you pay them for these things and this is not provided. What makes outside, um, the outside, these foreign nations now, what makes their, their own better is they pay for services they receive. If they come to your house and you are running an interruptible power supply and they come and they want to call it, in fact, you even want to, you, you don't want anything to happen to your light. So you want to pay on time. The same thing if your roads are good. Ah, if they say, pay, no problem, you pay. And that is it. But in Nigeria, you get to pay for things you don't even enjoy. And people will come out and say, um, you know, people in government is not going to criticize. It's not criticizing them. You're calling out their failure so they can see. And if they refuse to see and see it as criticism, then I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, they should have given it a second thought before coming out to run for any government position. Now, back to the news now. People are running away because of these things I've mentioned. The tax that are being paid, it is just like you are, you are just giving them free money. They are not really doing anything with the money you're giving to them. They are using it to enrich themselves. And you know, some, it is painful that these people, with all the money they have, they think by getting more money, oh my God, this particular topic, they think by getting more money and accumulating more and more and more, without you know really really using it for for a good now of the society they think it's going to be useful the thing is the money will just be there it's going, just going to be ordinary money so these people now leave nigeria because they cannot have peace of mind even when you have even made your money in this nigeria you are doing business and you 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 you, you struggle and you know you keep pushing and you do that business and now you are doing well for yourself and maybe you want car for easy movement. You want um, to live in a comfortable house and you know, you do all this and get all this thing for yourself. Governments do not in any way help. You see the government knocking at your door. Hey, you, you go outside with your phone, you're dressing so fine, you're smelling fresh. Problem. I don't know. I don't know how they want you to dress. Maybe you should dress like, like a puppet or a beggar. Sincerely. You see, you're going to be harassed if care is not taken. You're going to be harassed. And if you, maybe you're not even struggling with them or they just want to intimidate you. And this is what happens in Nigeria. And now this same country that does not in any way treat the citizens well is inviting other citizens. Do you know what is going to happen? Ordinarily, foreigners in Nigeria are treated like kings and Nigerians are treated like slaves. So when these people go, when you go out there to those people, <laughs> they're saying their country they don't treat them well so why should i like it is already there so <laughs> it's really really laughable yes mr san is actually correct you have to make sure you you treat you make um you make um what's it called now your country habitable enough for these people so that you don't even need that time you, people will be scampering to come just like everybody's scampering to leave and you know go to where things are greener Nigeria can also be like that. It is doable. It is doable if only Nigeria will have leaders that are genuine. Leaders that really want to help her. Leaders that want to help Nigeria as a nation. That is when we are going to be able to get to that extent. On this note,